What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 10, 10, 8 different things I hate when football players do and mistakes that players make. Now there's a lot more than 8 but I have got so many responses through my Instagram which will be linked down below. I have to break it up into a couple videos if I do all of them all at once. It's going to be a long video and I'm going to start to get angry the more of these I run through so we're going to do 8 today, probably do some more next week. We'll see how many we have to do after that. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first mistake I see players doing is they're wearing their visors in practice. Now, I'm not against wear, players wearing visors in practice as a whole, but I don't think if you spent a lot of money, say on something like, you know, if you had a clear version of like the new Shock.0 2.0 visors or whatever, and you're wearing it in practice, you're risking ruining that visor with scratches and dents and all these other things that could happen and it's not worth it. So I had a game visor and then I had a second, you know, crappy visor that I bought off eBay and I wore those in practices. So, you know, all I'm saying is just maybe have two separate visors or if you only have one visor and you really want to wear it for games, do not be using it in practice. You don't want to risk something happening to it and you spent, if you did spend a lot of money on it, it's not worth that risk. All right, the second one is going to be wearing the wrong colors that are not your team colors. Now, I understand that sometimes like stuff happens and you're wearing like weird sleeves or whatever, but it just looks so bad. Like if you play for like a blue team or a green team or something and you're wearing like red sleeves or whatever, it just looks awful. And I understand if you play for multiple teams, it's hard. You know, I played for a blue team in the spring and a red team in the fall so a lot of my stuff was either whites blacks and then i had like a thin blue and a thin red that if it was like cold or something i'd put the thin actual color over top and i'd wear like my white or black cold gear underneath it so that way i still had that but start with your base colors white and black and then if you want to get others get others but do not be wearing the wrong color just because that's the only one you have like be smart with your purchases all right, so number three used to be a bigger issue when there wasn't as many options for lineman cleats. You could see a lot more lineman wearing like skill position cleats just because they found them more comfortable, easier to run in, all that kind of stuff. But now with the amount of different cleat selection you have between like Under Armour, Adidas, Nike, like the just the big three right there, there's no excuse for you to be wearing some kind of like skill position cleat on the, on the line or some big bulky cleat on receiver or something like that. Like they have so many options now get the right option for your position. I understand that for the linemen, sometimes I want like a thin cleat. And I used to wear vapor carbons, but they didn't have any of these options. And it was just because the vapor carbons were so much lighter than all the other linemen cleats available at that time. That's the option I went with. But now with like the, um, like the new Nike cleats that I reviewed like a little bit ago, like they're so light, it's, there's no reason not to have those and you have so much more ankle support. All right, so the next one might be my absolute biggest pet peeve that I've always hated more than anything else. Now it's become popular to wear like loose sleeves underneath when they're a long sleeve, which I doesn't I don't think that looks bad. But when we're when you're wearing a loose sleeve shirt, something like this right here, underneath shoulder pads, and then with your jersey, and it's pushing your sleeves out, it looks so bad. Please do not be one of those people that is wearing that. If worse comes to worse, just like try and roll your sleeves up or something. It just it looks so bad. Please don't do it. Yeah, you can do it with a long sleeve, but with a short sleeve, absolute, my one of my biggest pet peeves, no. Okay, now the next one is something I see a lot of players doing, and it, it's a pretty simple thing to fix, right? It doesn't take any time or money, really. It's just how you see people uh, put on and do up their chin straps. So with your helmet here, this is how your chin strap should look. I've seen a lot of people where it loops over top of the bars, or where this one is trying to go underneath this clip here and then come back and over. It shouldn't be like that. Your chin strap should go underneath here, then up to the top. If you're having trouble getting it through, either look for the gap along here, there should be a gap somewhere there, or undo the screws a little bit at the top to give you a little more room, pull it up through that spot, then pull it down over into the right spot here. The chin strap's gonna fit a lot better. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable with the right angle. So definitely loop it underneath that is your 100% best option right there on doing up your chin strap. All right, now the next one is going to be around the use of pink. Now this is kind of a hot debate and it kind of depends on who you talk to in their background. So 
Uh, personally, I don't agree a lot with wearing pink outside of October. Now, I understand in certain circumstances where people like to wear pink outside of October, if like their mom or their grandma or whatever had breast cancer, I get those small cases. But for some people that just buy a pink sleeve and because they wanted to fit in and then September's around or November and there's like, oh, I spent the money, I might as well wear it. It looks terrible. It looks like it looks out of taste. It looks out of place. Don't do it. If you get a pink mouth guard, yeah, that's going to be okay. It's something small. But when you're wearing like pink cleats, it just looks terrible. If you're afraid that you wasted your money spending $30 on a sleeve and you're not getting your money's worth, instead of paying 30 bucks for the sleeve for breast cancer, just donate the 30 bucks and that way like we don't even have to deal with this issue anymore. All right, number seven is going to be the biggest one definitely that I've noticed as a coach now that you don't experience a lot when you're a player. But as a coach, I absolutely hate and all coaches do when a player asks you, what time is it? Because it, it's not relevant at all. And I understand some people just kind of like to know that time but just don't do it. You're gonna save yourself a lot of time and hassle if you're trying to ask a coach what time it is. Unless you have to leave for a specific reason, I get that, you need to know. But if you're just at practice one of the time, just maybe ask another player who might know the time or something. Do not go up and ask a coach what time it is. All right, the last one is, oh, it is when players are trying to be tough in practice. So when you see it's like starting to get like zero degrees, 10 degrees, and kids aren't wearing any like sleeves, leggings, anything, and it's like the coaches are like all bundled up and you see the kids like bare arms getting red and stuff, there's no point for that. Like, don't be an idiot. Dress up for practice, dress in layers. Watch my last cold weather video, hacks and essentials that you'll want to know for those cold weather situations, but don't try and be a tough guy. Layer up when it's cold. It is a lot harder to work when you're cold. It's a lot easier to stay warm than it is to get warm. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Again, if you have any suggestions on other things that you hate, pet peeves, mistakes you see players making, leave those down below. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to like that. Hit that like button so I know what kind of content you guys wanna see. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks.